As we approach the new year, we are facing a crime landscape that is unlike anything we have ever seen. Over the past two years, the global pandemic has triggered unprecedented, opportunistic and predatory criminal behavior. Crime is increasingly digital, borderless. Attacks can come from anywhere, targeting any person, company or institution with an internet connection. Criminals do not hesitate to exploit a crisis, whether economic, social or geopolitical. Today, we are facing multiple concurrent crises. At the same time, we are seeing powerful examples of how law enforcement is fighting back. In a context where less than 1% of illicit financial flows are recovered, Interpol has helped police to intercept nearly $200 million in proceeds from online fraud. Money is the lifeblood of crime and thanks to the strong participation of our member countries, we are taking it out of criminals' hands. We have also seen countries mobilizing to support the next generation of Interpol's International Child Sexual Exploitation Database, a proven tool to advance investigations around the world. Each day, 13 victims of abuse are identified globally through Interpol. I am constantly encouraged and inspired by the police work that Interpol has the privilege of supporting across our 195 member countries. In 2023, as Interpol celebrates its centenary, we will continue to strengthen the global security architecture through even greater law enforcement cooperation to make the world safer.